Hi, this is Diana Lidstone, the Entrepreneur's GPS, and welcome to Feature Friday. Every single Friday, I'm going to do an interview of either you know, a client, uh, a colleague, a business best friend, somebody that I think that you should hear about. And this week, I have the pleasure of introducing not only a former client, but someone who's become a great friend, and this is Valerie. So Valerie, I'm going to ask you to you know, introduce yourself, tell people who you are, and what is your passion? So who I am, I am a decluttering expert, but who I am really, I am the author of that book, Put That Stuff Down, that I wrote with my husband, Jean-Michel, and it's all about coping with PTSD through a decluttering journey. So where did this come from? It's because I suffered from PTSD and I know how hard it is. I also know that when you have lots of symptoms of PTSD, in the other hand, you try to clutter your home to kind of build a nest around yourself. So it's kind of your protection from the outside world, but it's damageable. And more stuff you have, more stress you are, more stress you are, more symptom of the PTSD you have, and you then get into a vicious circle. So it's really hard to get out of that vicious circle. And this is my mission. I want to help people that suffer from any kind of trauma, a car accident, a bad divorce, a war situation, a dramatic situation, any kind of trauma. So I want to prevent them to become hoarder like I did in the past. Wow, that's quite the story, Val. So, you know, that sort of tells us, you know, what you do and, and uh, why you are so passionate about it. Perhaps you could share with our listeners, you know, sort of a typical story, well, maybe none of them are typical, but a success story of a client of yours. And, you know, just explain as much as you can without, you know, giving away uh, some personal details, uh, how this person, uh, you know, was before and then how they were after and how you helped them. I can talk about a client that I will name Bill. So when I first met Bill, he called me and I came to his apartment. He was opening the door and I was the other side of the door trying to see through the crack of the door who is Bill the other side of the door. But the door wasn't opening. So it was so full and packed into his apartment that it was impossible for me to get in his apartment. So I first started working with Bill on mindset and on starting to declutter his place to be able to open the door so I can get in and help him declutter inside. So you can imagine when we finally opened that door, how mountains of piles they were in his place. It was more than six feet, six feet high. And it was lots of newspaper, lots of empty bottles, lots of ski, for example, and other kind of materials that he was collecting, either that he get free or that he paid for. So you can imagine the smell and everything else that can go with it. So I, I skipped some details here. <laughs> so, but when I start working with him, it took him over 10 minutes to put his first newspaper into the recycle bin. But at the end of the first session where we work on his mindset and on the reason why you need to declutter and why living in that situation is kind of not healthy and all of that, he was able to let go Sunday to Friday newspaper, keeping only the Saturdays. So that's mean every newspaper that get in his hand there were six out of seven that were going away right directly so that wow. was pretty impressive for a first appointment yes so during the week be before between our different appointment he had continued to move through his newspaper so he didn't empty a full room but he had emptied by a couple boxes of newspapers so now we were able to enter the entrance not just opening the door so that was huge progress. Mm -hmm. And after a couple appointments, maybe three or four appointments, he was at a point that he was ready to accept help from others. So not only my help, but he was ready to reach to his brother and sister 
and ask them to come and declutter with him. Think that he was so ashamed before and he was so isolated into his apartment, you know, talking to nobody and having no friends and like only alone and don't returning their phone call when they try to get news from him. So after about a month of working together, he was able to reach to them and say, okay, yes, I need help. Can you help me? Amazing. Good one. Good one. Uh, so uh, just a, a couple of questions here for you, Val. Um, so you mentioned Bill, you know, that's a man's name. Do you also work with women? I'm guessing. Yes, of course. I work with women too. I have different success also. Yeah. Not just on decluttering the space, but also on decluttering the time frame, for example. So I know some people that uh, reach to me because they are really, really busy and they don't find time for anything and practically not to take care of themselves. But they have had a traumatic event or something that make their life chaotic. So then they want to take back control of their time and they don't know where to start. And I help them take back the control over their life and insert some meditation time or mindfulness or taking a walk or, you know, thing that you need to do to take care of yourself. Yeah. So while we reduce the stress and we incorporate our things and be sure that the, the person eat three meals a day and all of that, the time outside of that, the time that is left for working becomes so productive that often the person with who I work gains time into their days. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. And I've had the privilege of reading your book and there was some great, um, re uh, how can I say, revelations when, you, when I read the book. Now, I'm not going to share them here because I think it's really important that uh, people do read the book. And you have a particular event coming up very shortly. Am I correct? Oh, totally. It's next Tuesday. So it's seven day, day to day from today. It would be the book launch of the book. But it's not just a book launch. It's way more than that. It's a complete event around trauma. So it, there will be resource on site for people, uh, psychotherapists, heavy blanket, essential oils, uh, uh, lost weight coach, and all of different people in addition of us that will be there to talk about the book. So people can came and get out of this evening with mm -hmm. a little tool bag, you know, Sounds so good. They have more tool in their hand to then be able to face their trauma or help a friend pass through their trauma. Right. Because I think um, from, you know, speaking with you a few times, very often, as you mentioned, there's a lot of shame around this and a lot of perhaps resistance, not, in, not willing to um, accept uh, some sort of, you know, if I can classify it as uh, diagnosis kind of thing. But still, if you know someone who has gone through something like you explained, a trauma, it would be a great evening for you to go to and, uh, and get these resources. Am I correct? You're totally right. And that would be a really, really nice event for that. It's at 6.30 p.m. that we open the door. And we are people looking at the different table and resource up to seven. And then we start to speak and teach little tips and tricks. And then there will be the book signature at the end, as well as going again, asking the people around the different table some question, if you have some question, and meeting the dogs. Because the Canadian Veteran uh, Service Dog Unit will be there, and they are training dogs for people that have PTSD. So those serving dogs are amazing. They can bring you back to your car if you're in a panic attack and you can close your eyes and they will know exactly where is your car and they will bring you right back at that place yeah i had no idea back. i had no idea that there were service dogs specifically for people with ptsd um so i think that's a great uh resource that perhaps people really don't know about so how can people find out about this uh event they go on www.ptsdbooklaunch.com. So it's www.ptsdbooklaunch.com. 
and they can still buy ticket. And if you are a veteran or military or a first responder, present or past first responder, that's include paramedic, firefighter, and policeman, you can write the code I am serving. With that code, you have a $20 discount. I like it. I like it. And uh, I look forward. I can't wait to be there uh, next Tuesday and uh, see you signing books. Yes, it would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Valerie, for sharing this time with us. And I know the uh, listeners will really appreciate all this information. So thank you again. Thank you so much, Diana.